Potholes, unsafe bridges, metro shutdowns, all symptoms of a crumbling infrastructure. In its most recent report card, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the country's infrastructure a D plus. The infrastructure in this country has not been fixed. It badly needs it. The cost of deteriorating infrastructure takes a toll on families' disposable household income and impacts the quality and quantity of jobs in the U.S. economy. The infrastructure in this country is falling apart. We've heard it time and time again. America's infrastructure is falling apart at the seams. Decades ago, we were the best, the top of the world, and nothing showed the magnificence, punctuality, and pride of infrastructure better than our railroads. The stories of brave Americans risking their lives and capital to build rails across the country, cities, and sea remain locked away in an age of gilded dreamers and doers and the greatest of generations. Today, the chance to bring these stories back to life has once again arrived at the station. Maryland is getting closer to a high-speed rail system, and it's part of an effort to solve the massive transportation crunch up and down the East Coast. Across the country and across party lines, America is beginning to realize the opportunity to rebuild its railroads. We need a major effort to rebuild this crumbling infrastructure. Part of infrastructure repair is creating a strong rail system that begins, begins to catch up with Europe, Japan, and even China. We have the worst transportation system and train system in China. They have trains that go 250 miles an hour. Over here, if the train goes more than 60, it's like collision territory. And we see it all the time. We've got to start rebuilding this country. Developers behind those projects really believe that the idea of high-speed rail in this country has finally turned the corner. In six years, Texas developers are promising a link between Dallas-Fort Worth and Houston at 205 miles per hour. The new Brightline Express trains are being built. The privately funded Brightline will take passengers from Miami to make stops in Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, and Orlando. We're the High Speed Rail America Club a group of millennials dedicated to reshaping our future in the steel framework of high-speed bullet trains and improved transit systems throughout the nation. Since we've began, we've witnessed and worked with some truly amazing projects springing up in states such as Florida, Texas, California, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and others. The reality of the high-speed rail revolution that has been enjoyed in Europe and Asia for over 50 years has finally taken root in America, and the rest of the country needs to know the benefits, details, and history behind the bullet train projects. Our previous documentary traveled time to show how railroads shaped America to an economic superpower, the decline through unbalanced reliance in cars and airplanes, and the dawn of a new age through the eyes of a company known as All Aboard Florida. With this round of crowdfunding on Kickstarter, we're hoping to reach new audiences with our next film, The American Train Part 2, Our Future Forward, to showcase what our future will look like in one of America's largest regions, as well as a host of interviews with professionals, businessmen and women, advocates, dreamers and doers, young and old. We've reached over 20,000 views with our first documentary, and if we're funded, the next one can reach even higher numbers and wider audiences to educate them on this transformative opportunity. All in all, America's infrastructure future doesn't lie with politicians, nor does it lie with businessmen. It lies with all of us, every single one of us who voice our opinion, check a ballot box, or ride the rails. This project has the potential to continue that revolution, and the power to speed ahead lies with you. Are you on board the American train?